going on loved ones this is neo all right listen i normally don't give too much of a damn about and that's fine you don't have to give your opinion because you're not really used to that type of thing sometimes when you don't understand something maybe you should just shut the fuck up because reality is guess what gay people was once young and maybe you didn't realize well, a lot of times when it comes to people that are in the trans community or transitioning stuff you ever realize all the stigma the housing, the discrimination, the parents put them on the streets, the parents are condoned to be murdered, the parents being condoned to be killed. Guess what happened to them? They end up going on drugs, they end up committing suicide and killed and stuff like that. But of course, you don't know about that because at the end of the day, once upon a time, black people were discriminated against going to school and there were black children inside the classroom. Oh my God, what are they going to do with these black children inside? They shouldn't be in here. Why are they in here? There was upon a time when black people was put in jail because they learn how to read. How do you learn how to read? You should learn how to read. Somebody taught you and at the end of the day you had to do court you had to do time because you learn how to read because that was not acceptable in the world we live in. And I find it was I always find it amazing of the hillbilly of the type of black people that sit up there always want to sign or discriminate and just try to destroy another person that really, that's not really educated on what they're going through. Do you realize that a lot of children that are put on the street, there are a lot of children that are murdered, that are killed by their parents because they live the Bible belt of what you felt the lead? And at the end of the day, you don't lay in the bed with all these women or probably Tom, Dick, and Harry if you ain't been caught yet. And at the end of the day, you want to sit there and pull out your Bible belt and at the end of the day, y'all still keep saying Jesus died on the cross for me. At the end of the day, we keep seeing videos of him being murdered right before our eyes, but we want to keep saying he died because he wanted to die. But when are they going to start to go back that slippy slope because at the end of the day y'all just want to believe that he decided that like he wanted to die and I always find it amazing when they say that God sent his only begotten son out here to the world and save the world and you killed him can you imagine having a child watching your child be murdered by the people you sent out here to help we ain't gonna go down that slippy slope yet either because y'all still making movies like he wanted to die, he wanted to be murdered, he wanted to be killed, he wanted to die for all sins. And at the end of the day, y'all still keep closing your eyes to what you see before your facts as you see. But I find it amazing. You're a history of women. You're a history of a lot of women. And the thing is, as a parent, you should be able to be, in my opinion, you're supposed to be optimistic. And let me let me find out who God sent me. Yes, who God sent me. Just like he sent you. I wonder if God sent me. Maybe this is a learning lesson. This may be somebody to learn from. Let me see who God sent me. Let me find who this person is, who this woman is, who this child is, who this baby is. But no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take on a whole thing of what the world I need to do. And at the end of the damn day, they're still, what's that thing called? Affirmative action. They didn't want to hire black people to go to work. They want to hire them out the job, stuff like that. but at the end of the day, you probably got on a certain level because at the end of the day, you probably made a little bit of money. Now you done forgot where you came from. That's what happens a lot of times when we get to the top. Sometimes they really don't really get to the top as far as they meant to get, think they got to the top. But it was an old thing saying that Jackie Gleason said from the honeymoon is be careful who you are mean to on the way to the top because at the end of the day, they be the same ones that you mean on the way to the bottom. And I always find it amazing how people always want to sit up there and say, well, you know what? I really don't care. But guess what? We don't really care about you. Your moose sucks. You want to be Michael Jackson, which you're not. Chris Brown knocked the shit out the box. And at the end of the day, you got offended because you want to be Michael Jackson, but you're not. And at the end of the day, you want to be Chinese or oriented with a case and be. Which, which with me, I could care less. I don't care if you want to be Chinese oriented because you know why? I can accept that. You know why? Because it's not my story. That's your story. You may be set out here to set a, a certain teaching for a certain community. So who am I to discriminate or say what I feel is so need to go for you? If you say that they're your children, remember one thing. They are real people. And guess what? They're not your children. They're lent to you from God. They are lent to you for the ones in the back. They're not your children. They're lent to you from God. And guess what's going to happen? If you don't take God's children and let them go the direction they need to go to, uh, orchestrated by God, then it's going to fall into the wayside for you. But you don't know that. But obviously, if you think about it, your music hasn't been hidden. And at the end of the day, clearly, you haven't really been listening. Little test has been brought to you, your attention, stuff like that, where you could have passed the test. But guess what you did? Obviously, you failed. Because for me to get up here to say anything about you, because I gave it too far, what you got to say about anything at the end of the day, I am still uh, can't understand why black people, black people still killing each other. And when you saw them hanging from the trees, and at the end of the day, a lot of y'all act like it wasn't me, so I really don't care. 
But I always find it amazing when black children had to go to school and they were discriminated against because they didn't want them there. And here it is, life is repeating itself once again when you could find success and say, you know what, that's my child. I want to find who God sent me. Whatever my child is, I'm going to support my child and I'm going to help my child. Whatever journey they need to go on. But you don't do that. Let me tell you something. Nobody decides what they want to do. Nobody decides who they want to be. Nobody decides they want to be handicapped. Nobody decides they want to be blind. Nobody decides they want to be bipolar. Nobody decides they want to just commit suicide. But I'm going to tell you what you will do. You cast the iron of judgment, but you don't want to be judged. I always find it amazing how y'all walk. Y'all walk and, 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 and want blessings. You destroy lies, but you want God for the Oh, Lord, just please bless me. Bless me for this. Bless me for an album. Bless me for an album that sells. In the meantime, a mother is rocking her baby to sleep tonight. That's not going to be waking up anymore. In the meantime, a mother just gave birth to a child that's blind, that's crippled, that's got one leg short, one limb short. So many different things that are of defected, but the child is still alive. Whether the child is gay, straight, by what the case would be, you know what they do? They love that child. It's a God sent from heaven. And they say, you know what? This baby right here is going to be a learning lesson for me to cheat somebody else. And I'm going to show a person who has a child like this. And I'm going to show them how to treat this child. Show my child in the command exactly what I want to do. But it's not about me. My child is here to learn and to teach other children like them of the blessing of God. But you don't see that. Because one thing I learned in life, when people learn they get to certain levels of money, they forget where they came from. And a lot of us black people already know that. Y'all seen the song of Kumbaya, but at the end of the day, you got everybody, everything running right beside your body and your bed. And at the end of the day, you don't give a damn. But at the end of the day, your just do is going to be the child that you birth. And your testimony could be the child that you birth. And that same energy you got is going to be challenged by the child that you birth. Or should I say you help birth? Because women and men make babies at the end of the day. Women keep saying it's us. You know, women and men make babies. I get so tired of women saying, oh, I'm the baby. No, baby. Women and men. Because you can't do a goddamn thing without the semen. And he can't do a goddamn thing with the instrument. It's like a cake. The cake can't rise without the goddamn rest of the milk. But at the end of the day, y'all keep trying to separate yourself like I was some goddess or something that just superior. And at the day, you're really not. But it's so sad because the child has to suffer. And God forbid they were born for parents that think they know everything. Because a lot of times y'all don't mean no one halfway. Y'all ain't know y'all know so many things. And I don't even hold for for that. Because you know we're not perfect. But at the end of the day, I always get upset when people sit back and sit back and throw dirt on people they don't understand. If you don't know, you don't know. It's not that mom was saying, hey, I don't know. If my, you know why I love Tabitha, Tabitha Brown? It's the name of Tabitha. She said, I'm going to find out who God sent me. And I'm going to see who God sent me. I'm going to, she stand behind you. I love every parent who has a child that's different and love, and love that child. That's my child. I'm going to fight to death the war for my child. I don't give a damn what y'all got to say about my baby. That's my baby. But then here it is, this one that got a little money, got his little, evidently got his little things up his ass because he feel as though he's out hot shit. Now, I can say what I want. You can say what you want to say, but at the end of the damn day, you be judged on your actions. And the biggest test is going to be looking at somebody who looked like you when you throw them on the streets. A lot of children that's been thrown on the street has been murdered and killed. And the parents sit by saying, well, I don't know. But I always want was wondering, when a parent destroys a child, do you think you go to heaven? When God says... What did you do with that child that I sent to you? Oh, I threw him on the street. So where do you think you're going to go? Oh, I'm going to heaven. Oh, really? Then he hands you over a log so you can put it around your neck so you can burn in hell with the rest of it. You're going to learn the hard way. Y'all going to learn. It's a learning lesson it's called love. If you can't love your child, then damn it, you need to have one because it's not about you no more. It's that child. I said what I had to say, and you don't have to like about that day. Neo, you you forget it. You can forget it. I was I was once a fan, but honey, obviously you could care less anyway, but it's all good. I support the people that are different, and I support you, and I love you all. That's different.
because it's an evil world.